Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, back with me while we go to Jolly O London. Yes, I am going to London this week and hopefully can pack in a day trip to Paris as well. But the point of origin is leaving from the US and landing in Heathrow, which as I hear is a nightmare when it comes to packing, especially liquids. So I'm gonna be very careful and I'm gonna pack in a different way than I normally pack for every single one of my trips, but I still will be using a carry on luggage only. You guys know, I'm not trying to break my record. I'm 10 years deep in only traveling, packing a carry on. This is my carry on from Amazon. I've had this for about five or six years. And then I pack my personal item, which is my backpack pack and I've been able to do it flawlessly for a decade. I am not checking a bag this trip. I refuse to. So let's get into what I'm going to bring for this trip because I think it's a bit different than how I typically pack and I'll walk you through this video what is a bit different but I'm going for reference four days three nights and the weather right now just so you know if you're watching this later on it is July. So the weather there is roughly 70 to 76 looks like to be the range of the highs for while I'm there in both Paris and London. Paris seems to be a little bit warmer, closer to 78, but for reference, the mornings and the cooler times looks to be a low about 58. So getting into packing now again i got my luggage from amazon i've been using this this is their carry-on size it has been beat up busted down and all of that but i still love it so let's get to packing why don't we so starting out opening up my suitcase there is always always some stuff from the last time in there but let's start how i always start all my packing and that is with the clothing side. Now, I already put this in my luggage. I actually bought two of them. I don't know why, but this is a travel adapter uh, key because the plugs over there are a bit different than our plugs. Our plugs don't look like the typical European plugs for plugging things into walls. So I bought a travel adapter. It's a universal travel adapter. I also bought a second one because... Um, I'm a weirdo like that. I'm like, what if one doesn't work? What if it's not adapting the way it needs to adapt? So I'm gonna put that right here and the other one is in my book bag. But first let's start with the clothing side as per usual. I first start as I always do with lining my interior with my belt that I always wear. I like it because it's dual. It can be a camel color. It can be black. It's the one inch reversible belt by Tory Burch and I love this belt because again it can work for so many different you know if I'm feeling black if I'm feeling camel uh whatever the case may be so I put that on the, the outside and then I use this packing cube for putting and rolling my clothes into my luggage so this trip I'm packing a mixture of kind of short sleeves but a bit of long sleeves too because you never know if it's going to be a cool 76 I'm cold natured so a lot of me always wants to have longer sleeves but you just never know so I have some basic like black tops uh, this is a taupe top from Zara that I have this is a button down blouse that I wear from Zara a lots of time same blouse but different stripe pattern from Zara you've seen me if you follow me on other platforms I'm sure I've done videos showing these I brought a little sweater because again I'm gonna get chilly I know I'm gonna get chilly these are some Aritzia essential shorts I love the trousers of this so I bought the shorts version and I love the shorts version I have the shorts version in this color too, I think you saw me. I think I might have bought these when I was in Chicago and I wore these in my Chicago trip as well. And then of course, if it's not on the cooler side or if it is on the cooler side, I just have some jeans. These are from Amber Combi and then some pants from Good American. These are just kind of solid jeans. Four bottoms and four tops. Oh, I also brought like a little sweater in case super warm and I got this sweater from Amber Crombie as well it's just kind of a normal sweater and 
going to pack that in this compartment. And I typically roll my items. They don't typically get wrinkled, but if I, they do, I hope that the room has an iron or steamer or whatever they may have. So these are all of the clothes that I will be wearing neatly stored up in this container. And all I do is zip it on up and then I move to the other side, which is where I keep my shoes, my undergarments, and usually my toiletries, which I'm still going to put in here, but let's see how I finagle this a bit. So in this, I'm going to put my undergarments, my sleep clothes, and any undershirts that I may have. So just putting that in here. Got to get a bodysuit in there. I'm addicted to skims at this point. Also, for this trip, I will be doing a lot of walking, as to be understood. So I'm bringing my walking shoes i'm not a sneakers person at all so i i typically stick to the same type i found these on amazon they're like the adidas walking sneakers and i have them in three different colors i again outside of these type of occasions i am not a sneakerhead girl so you will not ever find me in the coolest coolest kicks i will be wearing the lamest of lamest shoes but they're comfortable and they work for me so i pack those and i put the socks that i'll be wearing inside of my shoes so the socks because I, again we'll be doing a lot of walking the socks that i will be walking in are within the shoe compartments now this is the part where we get a little bit fun because you guys know i pack a lot a lot a lot of toiletries when I go on my trip. Uh, enough that you guys have made raised cane in all my videos. There's no way. How do you get through TFA Airport? You must have something special. You can't get away with that everywhere. You can't get away with that everywhere. And I've somehow gotten away with it in Mexico, in Dominican Republic, in Canada, and everywhere that I've gone outside of the U.S. and within the U.S. L.A., San Francisco, there has not been an airport where I've had to take my toiletries out. Even before I had TSA pre-check, I just got TSA pre-check for Christmas this year. I gifted myself that. And so I've had it since December what, 31st of 2022. So I'm new to the TSA pre-check, but again, I have not checked the bag and I've still been able to bring toiletries for the last decade However, you have been very clear in my comments that Heathrow is a different beast. And even TikTok has told me that Heathrow is a different beast. All the comments on all the TikToks that I see, I saw a video that said Europe is different when it comes to, it, Europe is different when it comes to the toiletries. It was just like something like, oh, I'm scared when I go through it. And the comments were like, it's not Europe. Because other places in Europe don't be caring. It is literally Heathrow Airport where you might get to throw some things away. And that's where I'm a little fearful. But I'm going to try and condense everything. We're going to have to go through some things and figure out what I need to, and what is considered a liquid. Because I have liquids throughout both of my bags. But for this bag, what's a liquid in here are these three items. So my toothpaste and my mouthwash that I recently got. Um, these two are good, my floss and my toothbrush. In this container, it is nothing but liquids. I might have been overthinking this. Now I'm starting to think how this is also nothing but liquids. It's gonna be hard because in this one, I don't think I have any liquids in here. This is my hair tools and I think they're all like pomades. Also in here, while I'm in here, I did add an air tag in here and that is just in case anything gets lost. If I do have to check anything, I did add an air tag into where I keep my hair. So I put this in my luggage and while I was rummaging through here, I realized I do have a liquid in this and this is Hawaiian Silky in a little miniature container. I also typically bring sunscreen, which I think I'm already making the decision that I will not be bringing sunscreen because that is way too big. It is three ounces. Somebody in one of my videos commented and said that sunscreen is way too big. However, on the container, as you can see, 
it does clearly say that it is three fluent ounces. So even if it looks big, this is a three ounce container of sunscreen that I normally always carry, but I'm not going to any beaches. So this is probably going to have to make it out of it. So once we factor in my makeup, which I typically keep in my other suitcase, we got a lot of liquids going on. Okay, let's start with items I know, I know, I know I need. And this will be my bag. Because this is the European size. It's the size for the U.S. that they supposedly only let you bring. Um, this is what I have to fit everything in. And it has to be able to zip. Uh, well, first thing I transferred over, I got a bar of soap. Because I said, you know what? I typically bring my liquid. But I'm going to switch over to bar because... That's one less liquid, so I will be not taking my normal body wash, and I will be using a Dove, because I love Dove. Dove is always great. I'll put this in the, like, non-liquid portion. While I'm on the topic, what I should have included was a washcloth. I should have packed washcloths. I didn't realize that the hotel wasn't going to have one, and I was SOL with only body loofahs while I was there. So please, if you're packing for Europe and you're staying at a hotel like mine, it's a boutique hotel, they are not going to provide you with washcloths. So please bring one. The I need deodorant. I typically always bring two deodorants. I just need to bring the one that's the most full. I need lotion. Oh, but I'm running so low on this lotion. There's barely any in this. This is a brand new full lotion. So I'll bring this. I won't be bringing my Brazilian Bum Bum Cream Lotion. I'll bring the more full product. So my fresh soy cleanser. You guys know I love the full size of this. This is my facial cleanser of life. I will bring that. I will leave the top. Well, I'm running low on this one. Maybe I'll bring this, use it up if I can. Facial Essence by Fresh. This is not a liquid. My lip, my lip balm is not a liquid, so I can keep that in there. My face cream, my night face cream, and my day face cream. I need these. I need these as well as I need toothpaste but I don't need two. I'll just bring one toothpaste. Because my hair, oh my gosh, I have to have my Hawaiian Silky. I have to, I have to have it. Girl cream, I need this. So I've, I've gotten this much. Okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm doing a pretty good okay job. Now when we get to makeup, how much liquid? So this is my brush, but I also keep my Fix Plus in here. I'm gonna need my Fix Plus. Everything else in here, tweezers, almost lipstick is considered a liquid. I'm probably going to have to put that in there. This is mascara. I don't know if mascara is considered a liquid. Now I'm like, do I put my mascara in there? Oh, my perfumes. I got it all out of there. And now, okay, we still got a little bit of room. We got a little bit of room foundations and stuff i know i'm gonna leave this behind because i i bring this but i never fully reach for this so i'm gonna leave that foundation out the foundation i typically always wear is my maybelline pouches so these are the foundations i always travel with and i always typically reach for so i'm going to 100 percent need that i'm gonna put those in there as far as liquids in here i do keep a lot of my palettes I don't need my Kat Von D because I'm bringing my, my Maybelline, which is all I typically wear. I do have another strobe cream, which I will be using, which, so, so I don't need the Smashbox. I'll be using my strobe cream as my primer. I do have a couple of lip glosses in here. I won't be bringing all nighter since I'm bringing my Fix Plus already in this container. So all of these... I would consider and then my tart shape tape is a liquid i'm going to take this out this is just another primer this is a tight squeeze but i think it can zip i think it will be able to zip and again while i'm there there should be some stuff i should be able to use up so that on the way back i don't need it so like that face cream will probably not be in there anymore there are certain things that i'm low on that should be able to work but 
this is all my liquids. They have been in one bag. Uh, this is hard for me. I'll also add into this one my toothbrush and my gloss and all of that stuff as well. Um, and in this, all I keep is my scarf, my toothbrush, and my edge controls, as well as, as I previously mentioned, my ear tag is now right here in this as well. Um, and that is it for that. For real this time, I'm done with this luggage. <laughs> It is all packed up. So moving this out of the way and moving on to my actual backpack. This is the backpack that I use as my personal item to get on my plane or get on the plane. Again, I fly mostly American Airlines, so I know different carriers have different policies, but you do get the personal item and the suitcase with American. So this is my personal item. And one thing that already I know is gonna go is my little backpack. I've had this for eight years. I got this from Target. People ask me all the time where I got it from. It is from Target. I like it because it is a no-name bag. It's just a normal bag. It looks inconspicuous when traveling. It's not like Kate Spade or like Louis Vuitton or something. Label. I'm not in a new country or a new place to show off all my, my labels. I just need something to keep my stuff in and this bag this go around is not going to be good because it's a backpack it goes on your back as per usual with exposed zippers that can be easily picked pocketed. i'm going to the uk i'm going to the uk this is a pickpocketer's dream bag because they could just easily zip it on open and steal my item i wish you would do till my next trip I bought two bags specifically for this trip. I also need to clean out all my tickets from Canada. It looks like I left quite a bit of those in here. But um, I bought two bags specifically for this trip. One of them is a underclothing fanny pack. And this is to go like up under a shirt, not exposed outwardly up under. So like kind of tight to your clothing. You can put like a little bit of cash in here. My plan is to keep this up under like my shirts and stuff, keep my passport in. So something that is up under, again, my shirts or my sweater or whatever I have on that day, uh, because I want to keep that very close to the chest. And so it's a very thin, very lightweight, got it from Amazon. And then as far as backpack this go around, I got this anti-theft. Um, again, it goes right over you. It goes right in front of you and you carry it like this. So it's in front, all eyes on all zippers. There's one main zipper and then the other zippers you can keep and you can turn towards you. So those are in the inside. The one thing I really loved about it is that it could fit. I had to make sure that my tripod could fit in there. Again, this is a tripod for anybody before you get, I, this is a tripod. Um, I normally always keep it in this. And I so it was important for me because I'm solo traveling that I have my tripod and something that could fit my tripod like this bag could. And I realized that this bag had that capability and it was the length. So I am taking this as my backpack of choice. I'm just gonna have to like put a little less than I normally do in here, but it should be fine. I'm gonna put my makeup in here. The makeup again, that does not contain any liquid. So this is where I keep my makeup brushes. I keep a little pair of scissors in here to cut like little hair. Um, my translucent powders, tweezers, eyelashes, all that fun stuff is in here. Same thing goes for this compartment. This is all my palette brushes, my eyebrow pencils, any of that fun stuff. Mascara is, is typically in here. And this is normally the two containers that I bring for makeup on my trips, as well as I recently bought this brush holder. So some of my beauty blenders go in there as well. I don't want to use a brush. So this I'm going to be packing in this compartment. Pen. As far as the side compartment, um, I have my secondary uh, adapter. You might have seen this in a recent video of mine. A second travel adapter universal. Again, for the UK, the outlets are different. So you just want to make sure that you have an outlet that can be converted or something that can convert your outlets. And here I just keep all my cords and there is no rhyme or reason to my cord system. It's my Apple Watch cord, it's my iPad cord, and it's my phone cords, as well as my cords for charging my external charger, which I need to also put in here. 
This year I actually bought an additional external charger or on the go charger. This one's kind of big, so I'm gonna keep this in my luggage. But the one that I always carry, which is this one, it's a lot more sleek. This one will be on my person with me as I'm walking around the city. So this one I'm gonna keep in my backpack to charge up like when I'm on the plane or things like that so that I'll have a always charge. Or I could, this is just a very heavy, it's much heavier than I thought. This one is really good and this is the power bank that I use all the time. Um, you just plug your phone up in here, you plug your USB up in here, plug your phone part into your phone and you have this with you it's so that my phone never dies i'm never on zero percent and i never want to be on zero percent when i'm solo traveling so i have a second one while i'm on that subject i normally take my vlogging camera my sony zv1 if you've seen that camera before you know i love that camera however i needed something a bit more compact so i bought this dj pro i think two i'll put the name on screen right now i bought this for vlogging it's just a much smaller camera more compact and has great quality so if you see a change in my quality of vlog content this go around i'm using this to film and hopefully the content is strong with this so i'm gonna put this in here as well as i'm gonna take my gimbal just in case i want to get some gimbal shots as well or stabilized shots this just stabilizes my images you attach your phone and it is a moving around gimbal so that your quality isn't super shaky so i'll pack this one as well i don't need my waterproof camera so i think we're good in this department just lock that up i'm gonna take my ipad i'm using it at the moment and I usually put my iPad in this compartment right here. So it has a little slide. So if you do have to take out electronics from your luggage, you have it right here. Easy to take out computers, laptops, whatever you have. Of course, can't forget the passport. I usually stick that in this compartment where I keep like tissues and stuff. So I'm going to put that in there. In these front compartments, I typically keep like a mask, a charger that I need to use like on the go. So I use this when I have to plug this in and then plug this part again in my phone. So I have the whole compartment together. I keep this in this compartment as well as Tylenol just in case you get a headache on the go. I need to make sure I have enough. I do look like I have enough for the trip. In the compartment in the top, I just keep my inhaler mask. Again, I know we're out of the COVID time, but um, it never hurts to be on the safe side. And then I put my AirPods in there when I'm ready to travel. And I guess this is where I could put this extra huge one in, in this as well. So this has been my packing. That is my little backpack. And this is my heavy, heavy luggage. I hope this was helpful. If there's anything that I missed, as of right now, I haven't gone to your, this, this girl sitting right in front of you hasn't been there yet. But if there's anything I missed, let me know down below. And I'll probably come back and comment and say, you're right, I should have brought this or I shouldn't have brought this or something along those lines. Future me will have a vlog on this as well. So the vlog might have some more up-to-date content. Make sure you're subscribed to see how my trip and how my journey goes as well make sure you have that notification bell on so you're alerted as soon as that video comes up as well as all my other content make sure you're following me on instagram at leahlevon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time tiktok leahlevon which is a bit more real time and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye